video is useful for measuring the movement of an object. Let's take a video of the free fall motion and calculate the gravitational acceleration. Procedure for this experiment is four steps. First, take a video of free fall. Second, read and record the ball position from each frame of the video. Third, calculate periodical velocity and make a graph. Fourth, calculate the gravitational acceleration from the velocity and time graph. Materials are ball, a smartphone, and a large scale. Make a large scale for measurement. Draw a line every 10 cm on the paper. Put this scale on the wall of the measurement press. Now the time for measuring. One person drops a ball from high position near the scale. Another person takes video by smartphone. The recorded video is played back frame by frame to read the ball position. Free software is available for frame by frame playback. In the classroom, all students can join the readings together with the big screen. This is the seat for recording reads. Check the number of frames per second of your smartphone video. Generally, it's 30 or 60 frames. The number of frames per second of this video is 30. So the time of each frame is 1 30 second. This is the time for the position and the time graph. It is the time at the midpoint of each frame. This time is for the velocity and the time graph. Let's read and record the ball position from each frame of the video. Calculate the difference of the position of each frame. The periodical velocity of each frame is calculated from the difference. Let's draw a graph of position and time. It shows a quadratic curve. Let's draw a graph of velocity and time. It shows a direct proportion. The slope of this graph is the acceleration. Let's calculate using these two points.
calculation result is 984 cm per the square of second. This is the experimental result of gravitational acceleration. If you make an Excel sheet with calculation formulas, you can draw a graph at the same time as reading. An Excel can show approximate line in the graph and calculate a slope. It shows a slope is 1011 in this measurement. 